welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Elix. Now, I'm sure this has probably been said before, and um, considering I only have episode 17 or 18 up by the time I'm recording this, I apologize for not having figured this out earlier, and shame on me for doing so. I thought we were going to need like special skills that we learned, or special items that allowed us to do this. But apparently, if you have a ranged weapon, and you press the F button, it changes to various different attack modes, which I totally didn't know was a thing because I'm an idiot. So, likewise, I had to look this up, by the way. Likewise, that's how you change from your different Psi powers. So, what does that mean to us? Well, that means, we'll look at the plasma rifle. We have a single shot. We have the plasma ball. It doesn't really tell us what it does. Uh... I don't know what 94, maybe that's the damage? No, because damage is up there. I have no idea. And then you have the EMP. And then for our cool little Psy thrower here, we have the Psy projectile, pure energy, the mental manacle, and the force field. The force field is the first one. The Psy projectile is the eyeball. So, yeah, F. F is your modifier. It's the same thing with the bow. There were other shots with the bow, but again, I thought we needed special arrows. Or that we needed something else entirely, and, well, apparently we don't. So, there you go, guys and gals. You learned something new, I guess. Alright, I am here. Pray and make the donation. Uh, maybe I have to step on it. Anyway, I'm going to set that as my thing right now. Making the dawn. Food for clerics. Obediently performing one's duties. This is the one. Well, apparently there's nothing else for us to do. So we did the first one. There's another one to the southeast. Even though I could have sworn I said take a, uh, head out of the place and go northwest. Oh, that's literally the only one we have left. Oh. Okay. Well. I suppose we can just... We're about equal distance between the two points, so we might as well just head that way. Might as well just get over there and get it done. Oh boy, there's a creature over here. Probably wants to murder me. I'm actually curious to how well my, uh, my weapon and shield work now, so... Let's face off against this guy. Shield works amazing! Oh my god, the shield is so good! One, two, three, and you! Oh, we did a shield slam there. I mean, we, we don't really stand much of a chance at defeating this guy, mind you, but... Like, see? Like, we're literally invincible with our shield up, which is crazy. Come on, buddy. Commit. Commit. Alright, so we're just going to leave now because we don't actually want to fight him. But it, it's good to see that now we actually have a way of negating all damage. And now a little back step, the little double back da uh, dash, or whatever, dip, dodge, duck, dive, dip, dive, duck, dodge, anyway, whatever that thing is, is actually going to be even more useful, because, oh gosh, Paul, could you like, maybe fly in next time, instead of just like, appearing, because that was, that was off-putting, that made me nervous, I have a bad feeling this is going to hurt, this is a dangerous area, yeah, yeah it is, it is a little bit dangerous, not going to lie, oh, there's another one of those horrible creatures over there, Let's try to avoid more of those if we can. I wonder what that thing is. It's a Skex. Uh oh. It's a Ripper. As you wish. All right. You know what? I'm gonna try the plasma ball. I don't know what it does differently, but I tried it. Give me my, my shield, please. I can knock him down. 
I feel like you do more damage. I also feel like I'm about to get more company here. I'm not sure that I want more company. One, two, three. Is he ever gonna get up? Like, it would be pretty beneficial to have our allied individual allying it up, doing useful things. So there we go, knocked him on his butt. I like the shield. The shield is amazing. I think I just did a whistle when I spoke there. It was pretty impressive. Oh, the shield is so good. Everything about the shield is amazing. I'm just saying. One, two, three. One, and two. Knock him down again. Oh my gosh. Combat just went from meh. It's gotten a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. Over over the course of playing, it has gotten a bit better. Like, I don't despise it quite as much as I did at the early start of this. But, I mean, we're not doing tremendous quantities of damage at this point, but we're doing okay. I mean, this is not so bad. This is uh, pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda like it. Alright. Get him. So we have like a... Oh, that was weird. We have like a knockback attack that we can do. Maybe it's a parry attack. I don't know. Oops. That was my own fault. I stopped locking for a bit. I definitely feel we're doing less damage now, though. That much does seem to be apparent. Got him. Okay, so, yeah. We have more options. And I can get behind that. I don't like the fact that you have to pull out your weapon and your shield separately. Kind of wish that would just happen, like automatically, but that's, again, that's okay. It's not a deal breaker. And I can definitely see points in not wanting to use your shield all the time because it does weaken your attacks quite a bit, so, like, I get it. Why are you here? Don't, don't, get out of my way, buddy. I have things to do, stuff to pick up. Apparently mana potions that I'm going to need to use at some point. Speaking of which, I should probably add a mana potion to the bar at this point, too. Uh, we'll go with small mana potions. We'll add that over here. So our bar is starting to fill up with uh, some interesting things. Alright folks, sorry about that. I decided, since we actually have a fight here where I can play around a bit, I wanted to see exactly how much damage we can and can't do with this guy. And there's a fair amount. We, we do okay. We do a fair amount of damage, but... It's also not great. So, basically, we need something that's going to keep him nearby so he takes quite a bit of damage inside of this thing. This is actually a fairly high damage look I mean like we've literally passively done all that damage. So I mean that's pretty cool. And I'm basically just gonna try to sit here and defend, let him claw at me. I really wish that Fal or Falk wasn't actually doing Falky things. Okay. So, yeah, I played around a little bit. I learned uh, a bit of what we were doing. So there's a few cool things. 
I almost wish that you didn't actually have to have the item equipped to do some of the stuff that they, they let you do. I feel like the fact that you have to equip stuff kind of negates it just a little bit. Alright, thing's nearly dead, and should actually have it. So it's really not that difficult to fight these things, and now that we have these extra things, it also helps. So my guess is, and it's probably going to take me a bit to learn how to do this, but you're going to want to use the, the whole pew pew shooty grab thing, and then unload with your ranged weapons. I think that's going to be how you want to play it. Again, I could be wrong, and like I said, there's going to be some growing pains. I'm going to try a lot of stuff. I imagine, I mean, I have to imagine that most of it isn't going to work. I think, I, however, I can kill this guy without any problems whatsoever, so we'll see. One, two, three, four, and hiya. Yes, we are back to the, the whole counting out our attacks thing again, guys and gals. And down he goes. Alright, so those guys are definitely amongst the easiest easiest things that we ever had to fight. And it's it's quite nice to actually have something easy going down for a bit. But I do like the fact that we're very nearly invincible with our shield. I do say nearly invincible. Pray and make our donation. And we completed the fourth shrine, so that's all done now. Alright, I believe there is a screamer here. And we're going to attempt to battle the Screamer and see how we do with... Oh. I missed... Man, there's a lot, there's a lot of wind-up with certain things. He just doesn't seem to care. He's like, nope, no poops are given right now. Alrighty. Yeah, see, he, just, he does not get interrupted by my attacks whatsoever. Whoa, easy, Ninja. Am I out of stuff? Is that why this isn't working? I think that's why this isn't working. Kidding me? Got him. All right, so there's a few uh, kinks in my uh, my armor here. We'll, we'll say, like mostly the fact that I can't seem to actually land any of the shots that I want to land with my little grab and hold them type situation. It's alright. Like I said, we can play around a bit. It's not terrible. And we just kind of finished up this whole area. I'd like to find, and I assume that we can find, though I'm not positive. What's that sound? I assume that we can find a teleporter. There's, there's bound to be one somewhere in this area, right? Like you would think that there would have to be. I know there's a... Come on, man. Seriously. I know there's a ton of stuff that we can, like, loot and look at and whatnot. And while I will come back to this place and probably do that later down the road, right now, again, I'm more curious about finding a teleporter than I am really getting all the loot and stuff out of here. There's not a lot going down here. Dude. I don't ever want to talk to you. I wish there was a different button to talk to him specifically, like your companion. It's got to be in that other area. Well, that looks cool. Fortunately. Imagine seeing the impact of a comet with your own eyes. Imagine being incinerated yeah. in a fraction of a second. I was going to say, I, no, I'm pretty sure I that's... I'd rather imagine seeing the comet hit the planet. 
Oh, we can't use these emplaced gun thing? That looks awesome. Alright, so who wants to bet that this place is a terrible place? And we're really not going to want to be here. Well, I honestly think most of the places that we've been to already have been pretty terrible. Well, I don't see a teleporter yet. It's possible it's directly under me. It's also possible that there isn't even a teleporter here at all. You'd think this far over there should be, right? The whole point of the teleporters are to help you traverse the giant wide open areas of this world a bit quicker. So once you get to it once, you don't have to get back to it again on foot. You can just teleport there. Like, I like the concept and idea behind the teleporters. There's a mutant over there. I am not a fan of his. But what I am a fan of... Oh, there's a lot of mutants, actually. What I am a fan of is the fact that he cannot shoot us down here. Or up here, rather. But you know what can? Rot boars. Rot boars and other things that go in the night. Alright, I'm checking it. I want to see, is there actually a teleporter here? Or am I wasting my time? Oh boy. Alright. So we are... Oh, what is that hideous thing? I don't know. I really don't want to play with it. Are you sure this is a good place for us to be? I'm pretty sure this is a terrible place, buddy. I am pretty sure that we should not be anywhere near this place. I'm also pretty sure that since we're here, if there is a teleporter to find, we should find it. Because if we ever want to come back to this place, I really don't have to run all the way here. The downside is, I'm not seeing there being a teleporter anywhere. That doesn't mean there isn't one. It means I just can't seem to find it yet. Now, it could be that it's outside the dangerous area. They do that sometimes. However, a lot of times they don't do that. It's inside the super dangerous area, and then we all die. Now, it's possible I missed it. It's possible it's off the beaten path. I, I'm starting to see merit in getting that thing that shows all possible teleporters on the map. Because that does not seem like a bad thing to pick up. So, I will wander around here slightly, slowly, with meaning and stuff. Oh, we're level 13 now. I feel like that's probably not too bad. <laughs> There we go. Uh, some some attacks. I think I broke Falk though. And that's what he that's what he gets called now because he doesn't deserve to be called Falk. Okay. Well, that was almost terrible. Let's not do that again ever. Dude, I hate everything about you. Also, you didn't help me at all while that thing attacked me. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, there's a horrible creature over there I just saw. I'm not a fan. It's a very real chance that I will just randomly die here for no reason. Well, I'll be killed. I've been in here before, haven't I? Isn't there a radio? Oh, no. This just looks like some other generic ruins that we've been in. It's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and Z-hack it. Alright, so the first number is greater than the second number. So we go with 4, 2, which is greater than this number, which is less than this number. Okay, so the 1 is correct. So we'll start with a 6. Oh, uh, I've already messed up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So we'll start with an 8, a 6... A one and a nine. I'm in. 
There it is. Okay, so we'll take all. Yeah, I totally forgot to take into account that that was part of it. So the, the greater than, less than thing. Pretty cool. Little added bonus there. Fine cup. A bundle of old world money. Sadly, still incapable of finding the teleporter, though. Well, like I said, we're going to roam around a bit in this area. There's got to be one right around here somewhere. Like, there just has to be. I would be very surprised. Ooh, I got a dual hammer. That sounds legit. I hate you so much. A regular hammer. Fine cup. Well, let's take a look at the dual hammer. I mean, I'm not going to use it probably, but it's our first weapon. Need a bit more strength. It looks like it does do some decent damage. Oh, why can't there just be a teleporter in, like, an obvious spot? Why did it hide everything so well? I mean, it's possible it's up higher on that, like, overhang up there, I guess. Oh, we're about out of time, too, for the episode, which makes me sad. I will take the Alexa, thank you. There it is! I, well, it actually might not be it either. Uh, it looks like it could be, but I think that's just an Alexa uh, or an Elix mine. It's like we can go over there. I also think I am going to rest. Oh my gosh, I just got a laser gun. I doubt that I can do it, but let's sleep till morning. We'll check the laser gun. It's probably outside my range, though not necessarily. I did upgrade my, my stats lately, or recently. I can't see. Uh, of course I can't. There we go. Hey, it's there. It's actually worse than what I have. I have the 42. This one's a 30. However, it does use laser ammo, which I do have some of, so it might be worth it to use it every so often. Toilet paper, I'll take that. That's free money. All right. I see nothing else. Yeah, I really wish that this wasn't just just a mine. But, eh, it is what it is, folks. Alright, let's get on up in here. There's usually some Elix laying around, too. Nope. Okay, well, we'll just head on in and chop it out. And there it is, 20 Alexit received. Alright. Well, that was actually very, very, very disappointing. All right, we're going to head back into that horrible place that we were at, running from the mutants and the horrible things that wanted to kill us. And it's going to be most likely, most likely, not guaranteed, but most likely going to be inside there the somewhere. Here is rather worrisome. It is. It is rather worrisome. So again, I'm going to try to keep this episode going until I find the thing, but I might have to break it off before then. Hmm. I do not know for certain. A lot of random stuff in here. Okay. I suppose it's possible it's over on that side too. Oh boy. I'm glad he took the hit for me. There's no teleporter here. Teleporter over here. And there's a tank and some other random stuff over there. As you wish. Actually freaked me out a little bit there, buddy. Maybe don't block me. I don't I don't know. Is there a reason to come up this way? Other than running for your life? Well, let's take a look around. Well, I guess I'm taking a look down here. Surprise! Wasn't really part of the plan, but... Heh. 
Best laid plans and all that. You know how it goes. What's that? A warrior's poison sword. To oh gosh. Oh, there's. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's a lot of really angry things. That really, 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 really want to kill me. What are these? Oh, those are roaming chimera. seems to be shooting. He's doing no damage to him. Oh my gosh. That would take us like literally 10 minutes of me just standing up here for him to actually kill one of those. I don't want him being attacked. I suppose they'll stop uh, wanting to kill us anytime soon. Probably not. I don't think it's worth the 20 Alexa to stick around either. What's over here? There's duct tape on the ground. And clearly other stuff. Well, I gotta say... I don't much like our chances in this area. Enjoy, enjoy your battle. I feel like backtracking seems counterproductive, but it might actually be what we need to do. Oh, natural elix. Which I believe we're gonna need for like upgrades and things. Oh, the creature left us alone. Cool. Alright. Ah! How did that not hit us? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Like, how did that not hit us? Anyone home? Oh, there's Reavers! Oh boy. They seem quite unhappy that I exist. What, do I stand a chance at killing them? Nope. Well, I do, but not a very good chance. So definitely a place that seems to be outside my range here. Starting to see this trend. Hey, muties. What's going on? Is Wolverine here? I'd like to get an autograph. No? No Wolverine, huh? Well, kind of cool. Oh, cool. Oh, because of course. Ouch. Uh huh. I think it's very risky for us to be here. You think it's very risky. I think you might be right. I don't know though. I'm not sure. Oh boy. Alright. Well, we're going on some running and, oh gosh, not gunning uh, adventures here. Oh, there's gotta be, there's gotta be, like surely there has to be a teleporter somewhere in this stupid general area. Like, there's so many places. Why is there no teleporters? Why are there no teleporters? We could learn much from these ruins. We could also die a horrible death. I'm just saying. Ugh. Come on. I'm actually tempted to, at this point just to look up on a website. I'm sure there's one out there by now where there's a teleporter in this general region because this is this is absurdity. One of those horrible creatures is over there. No, they're all fighting one another. Well, I did my job. 
Oh, what in the blue heck is that? Just a regular troll. We had hill trolls, mountain trolls, forest trolls. Oh, there's lava. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's lava. And mission successful, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I, Bumpy McSquiggums, have done the impossible. I'm still running for my life. It still looks bad, but I have finally found the teleporter that we were all looking for. So, what do I want to do now with my newfound coolness? Well, I want to loot these things. Hopefully before anything comes to- Oh, they're coming to eat me right away. Okay. So hopefully before anything comes to eat me. Um, I'm going to run up here. I think I'm going to assume that this is probably not the worst place in the universe. But I can't be certain. The little weird ant lion things just shot at me and it made me very sad. I did manage to get up here, which is cool. I'm afraid to look at my map. I think it's a justified fear at this point. You know, I feel like I've been here before. I'm right near the... Yeah, I am. That's it. That's it. That I... <sighs> Yeah. Alright, so what I'm going to do is not what you guys are expecting me to do. I am going to do something completely different from that. I am going to the small camp, and I am going to teleport there, and this is going to be where I bring off my episode, because I have stuff that I have planned that I want to do, that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I just now remembered that I wanted to do it, so I'm going to do it. It's great. We'll see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, until the very next episode, hopefully you guys enjoyed. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.